this is Vishwanathan and today I will introduce you to flyweight design pattern. Let us understand the flyweight design pattern with an example. Lively consultancy service provides identity cards for their employees. The structure of iCard is as follows. It consists of the name of the company which is Lively Consultancy Service and its address. The address depends upon the division in which the employee works. Along with this, it also has the name of the employee, his employee ID and age. All the employees belonging to the same division will have same address printed on their i-card. Lively Consultancy Service wants a software solution for the same so that in case tomorrow the i-card has to be published for a new division, the same can be done in an easy manner. Now let us analyze the given problem. The i-card has two parts. The upper part that is the Lively Consultancy Service and address of the division will remain same for a given division while the lower part that is the employee name, employee ID and age will change from employee to employee. The top part of the I card which remains same for all the employees belonging to the same division is known as intrinsic data while the lower part of the I card which will change from employee to employee is known Thus all the employee objects belonging to the same division will share a single object of intrinsic data that is instead of having intrinsic data within each of these employee object we are creating only a single object and making all the objects share the same thus this will ensure increase in performance as well as reduction in the memory consumption shown is the design solution for the given problem to maintain iCard we have created a class known as iCard which contains employee name employee ID age and the reference of type intrinsic to create object of intrinsic data we have made use of an intrinsic factory which returns as a factory of object now within this intrinsic factory class we have the intrinsic class as a inner class in order to avoid other classes directly creating the object of type intrinsic class we have defined the constructor as private now intrinsic factory class can invoke the private function within the intrinsic class since intrinsic class is an inner class of the intrinsic factory to take care that only one object pertaining to particular division is created we make use of a map this map stores the division name and the corresponding object of type intrinsic class whenever an employee has to be associated with particular division first a check will be performed on the map to find whether the entry for the division exists if it exists then the same object present within the map is returned else a new object is created and the same is added in the map and the object is returned in order to ensure proper level of abstraction we have made the intrinsic class implement the intrinsic interface so that i card can hold a reference of type intrinsic
now let us see how to implement the solution for the given problem using flyweight design pattern in java shown is the intrinsic interface having the get deletion function we have a public class factory which returns me a factory containing the objects of intrinsic class now within this factory class we have a list which contains a mapping between the deletion name and the object of type intrinsic we have a get factory method which returns me the factory for the given class we also have a get intrinsic method which contains deletion as parameter first a check is performed in the list to find out whether an object for the corresponding deletion is present if it is present then the same object is returned else a new object is created and the same is added in the list within the factory class we have a inner class which is known as intrinsic class this intrinsic class implements the intrinsic interface and gives body to the get deletion function it has a private constructor which takes deletion as an argument and initializes the object with this deletion to keep a count of the number of objects created we have created a static variable count and incremented the same for each call of the constructor shown is the i card class having the employee name employee id age and intrinsic object as the attributes each of these attributes are initialized within the constructor we have a print method which prints the details of the employees like employee name employee id age and the deletion to which the employee belongs to we have setters and getters for the same the final step is to test the application and the same is done by using test.java class inside the main function within this class we initially create a deletion string having value comp next to get the factory we invoke the factory dot get factory function to get the object of type factory we create card objects with different values and invoke the get intrinsic function to ensure only one copy of the object pertaining to particular deletion exists we create three different objects two objects of the card holding a reference to comps department and one holding a reference to it department we have also invoked the print function on each of these card objects on executing this class we will come to know how many objects were created of particular deletion since we have printed the number of count present within the constructor on executing the above application we get the following output the total number of objects created are 2 as you can see since the earlier two objects hold a reference to comps deletion and the final object holds a reference to the it deletion hence even though comp deletion was invoked twice only one object pertaining to this is stored in the list and the other object is of type it thus we have ensured good performance and reduction in the memory consumption by using flyweight design pattern the flyweight design pattern can be defined as follows it is an object that minimizes the memory used by sharing as much data as possible with other similar objects 
in our example we shared the initial part of the i card that is data pertaining to particular duration across various employees and thus saved memory and performance this is what is known as flyweight design pattern now let's look at next design pattern which is known as command design pattern